In this video, we will look at factoring trinomials in the special case where a is equal to 1. In other words, there will be no number in front of the x squared. Technically, it would be a 1. If there is a 1 in front of the x squared, the AC method gives us the factors directly without nearly as much guess and check. For example, on the problem, x squared minus 2x minus 8, notice we have no number, or technically a 1, as the coefficient in front of the x squared. Using the AC method, we would be multiplying to 1 times negative 8, which is negative 8, and adding to negative 2. We can see this is possible with 4 and 2 if the 4 is negative. Making our factors, the only way to get x squared is x times x, and because these are both the same, simply just x, x times negative 4, and x times positive 2 will give us the numbers we want. Notice, we could simply stick the negative 4 into the factor and the positive 2 into the factor. This nice shortcut only works when there is a 1, or no number, as a coefficient in of the x squared. Let's take a look at another example where we can use this nice shortcut to reach our factor a bit quicker. In this problem, again, we notice there is no number, or a 1, as a coefficient in front of the x squared. This means when we use the AC method, the pair of numbers we find will give us the factors. a times c, 1 times negative 8 is negative 8, and we want to add to 7. We see this is possible with 8 and 1, if the 1 is negative. We can now quickly build our factors, just filling in the variables. We use x and a positive 8, and x and the negative 1 from the end. However, we must be careful that all the variables are accounted for. We want to end up with a y squared at the end, which means we also need to have y's in our factors, 8y, and negative 1y. As usual, we don't truly need the 1 in front of the y, and we can leave that factor as simply x minus y at the end, with x plus 8y as our other factor. Again, this shortcut is nice, but it only works if we have a 1 in front of the x squared.